book to television celebrity and chef Stuart O'Keefe. This is a gentleman born in Ireland, went to culinary school in Dublin, moved to the States 12 years ago, now lives in Los Angeles, and brings his first cookbook to the market. It launches on Tuesday. 700 books are already gone in this show. It's called The Quick Six Fix, where every recipe is only six ingredients. Every recipe is only six minutes prep, and every recipe is six minutes of cleanup. But every recipe is delicious, perfect for your family, easy to make, and best of all, Delicious. Let's welcome in the man that makes it all possible, Chef Stuart O'Keefe. Nice to have Hi, you here. How are you? Nice Thank to you. see you. This is so exciting because the recipes are accessible. This is kind of a blending of your Irish heritage, yes, as well as what you've learned having lived in the States now for 12 years. I know. This is kind of a marriage of both of the best foods you love. It is. I've been here 12 years. It's crazy. And so I definitely, I mean, I love the, the food you guys make. And <laughs> I mean, I love like food I have from back home as well. And I've kind of combined the both. Uh, into this book and done it in six ingredients, six minutes prep, and six minutes cleanup for you all at home, all you home cooks. I'm doing this for you because I want I want them to, to make it easy for everybody at home to cook. Without a doubt. And you want everybody to have great meals on the table. And I love that we can start with only six ingredients. So you yes. give us a pantry list in the book as well. There's a pantry list in the book. Yeah, I, I, I break it down for you. So it's just simple things like canned tomatoes, like salt, pepper, olive oil, like simple things like that that last a long time in your kitchen. Many of you may remember Stuart from uh, Food Network. He was on Chefs of Beverly Hills. He also does a show called The Fab Life. You've been on Oprah's own network. Yes. You've done a lot of television. You've done a lot of cooking in and around Los Angeles area. Yes. Um, you are also someone that is very true to your Irish roots, which we appreciate. I do. And this is your very first cookbook. Congratulations. Thank you so I much. I know you're excited about this. I've been following you on Instagram and, and on <laughs> Facebook, and I know you've been talking a lot about your excitement for the book. Over a thousand books are gone. Oh, We're wow. very, okay. very busy. Let's get busy <laughs> with your Irish Yankee mac and cheese. Yes. Is this where Ireland meets America? Because I love mac and cheese. Uh -huh. You guys got me into it. I mean, I can have, can have it all the time, but like this is so good. And I put the bacon in it and some peas in there. Mm. If you don't like peas, you can just take them right Well, out. you know what? Moms and dads will love the peas. The kids will eat around them. All right, here we go. But this is amazing. Now, you do a blend of cheeses here, yes? I bet there's white cheddar, white cheddar and Parmesan. Oh, nice. Yeah, like sh I love a sharp mac and cheese, and it's like so gooey, and here like the go. bacon, you have. Oh, there we go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. 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 Chef Stewart, I do a little something on my show when I taste something that's really, really good. I've seen it. It's before. called the Happy Day. Uh, do I have to do it? I do too. Yeah, you can do it. Bust it out. I love it. When, when my chef's <laughs> busted out, that's even better. Now, you were taught to cook by your mom. Yes. Your aunt Dairy, is that right? Yeah. Taught you to bake. Bake. I would bake after school with her while I was doing my homework. So cool. And this is one of the dishes she taught you to make. This is uh, this is her Guinness cake. It's Guinness cake. Yep. I had to get it from my aunt. I was like, "Do you have that Guinness cake recipe? I need it because I want to put it in my book because it's just, it's close to my heart. Like, and yeah, you would smother it with butter. It's beautiful with coffee in the morning or Ooh, as nice. dessert in the evening. So, and you actually make this with Guinness beer, is that right? Yes, like one bottle of Guinness, like All right. 12 ounces. And then you smother it with butter. You would have this with tea, I understand. I would have tea or coffee in the morning, yeah. Mm. It's so good. Oh, chef, it's so good. Oh, my goodness. Do I have these raisins in there? Yep, there's golden raisins in there. Mmm, mm. so good. Oh, my word. It, and the Guinness gives it such a bold mm -hmm. layer of flavor. It does. It's really, it bakes really beautiful. All right, chef, we have to talk dessert. Okay. We have to talk black and white bread pudding, but this is something very special and really decadent. You, uh, I read in the book this is one of your favorite desserts. It's one of my favorite desserts. I used to make that for a lot of dinner parties when I first moved to Los Angeles. Okay. And um, people went crazy for it. And the thing about it is, which is great, the croissants don't have to be fresh. If you had day old croissants, sure. it's even better because you're going to soak it in that egg mixture. What? And then you, yeah. Okay, this is black and white bread pudding with croissant. <laughs> okay. That, like, uh -huh. That's heaven to me. Okay. Would you hold heaven for a moment while I go <laughs> dancing? Happy dance, happy dance, I'm the <laughs> bread pudding, happy dance. Oh my word. So good, chef. This is crazy. Now, we're scaring the heck out of 2,000 books gone. Oh, wow. Everybody is going to love this book because you give us beautiful color photos. You give us great, easy to follow instructions. You also give us little stoplight tips. Tell me yes. about that. The stoplight theory is basically when you're cooking, what I want you to do is I want you to like stop. So that's the red light. Then you have the yellow, the orange, 
uh, look what you're doing, clean down, and then the green is go, go back to work. So I give you those little like, icons as you're cooking the recipes, uh, just to make it easier for you, just to guide you through the recipe to make Ooh. it as seamless as possible. There's the mac and cheese, so good. Six ingredients or less, you're also getting six minutes prep time and six minutes cleanup, soups, desserts, wonderful dishes, everything that you need, great seafoods, whatever you love, everyone's loving the quick six fix. Now, these are shipping out on Tuesday, I understand. Correct, March 1st. Yeah, correct. so this book is launching then. You are just launching your book tour. Everyone's uh -huh. going to be excited about sandwiches. Tell me about these. I thought they were beautiful in the book. Uh, it's a blue cheese with a sweet and spicy bacon. Now, this bacon, you could eat it as candy on its own. Ooh, and that recipe is in right. there, too. And these are sticky ribs. Now, sticky, sticky ribs, ribs are one of your signature dishes, like, right? Like, I die when it comes to ribs. Like, All right. You guys have ruined my life since I've come to America with ribs. Because <laughs> I, like, I eat them, like, three Three times a week. All right. I mean, ask any of my friends. Mm. I do love a rib. And with the Asian hoisin sauce on there, too. Oh my gosh, Stuart, that sauce is amazing. So many times we end up with like a sugary sweet yeah, barbecue. Like just Chinese spice. Yeah, exactly. So like an this Asian is barbecue. much more flavorful. Yeah. Oh my word. Mm. And get it on your fingers. You're going to want to lick that <laughs> off. All right. So, really, really fantastic. Oh, thank you for the wipes back here. All right. So, great things. All right. We have to talk mashed potatoes. 3,000 books are gone now. We're very busy on our phone lines. Use automated ordering. Go to .com. Use that mobile app. We're super, super busy. These are the best mashed potatoes you're ever going to eat in your lifetime. You have learned, you call these velvety mash, yeah, yes? Yeah, just so smooth. How like do you achieve the most perfect velvety mashed potato? Well, you have to put some cream, some butter, but then you have a ricer. A you, ricer? You put it through, you put your potatoes through a ricer to get them really fine. Mm. And um, it's just, they come out, it's just so beautiful. Uh huh. Mary, fine. there's no glutens in here. You can have this. <laughs> All right, where is my, oh, here's a sport. All right. Velvety Sorry. smooth mash. You're going to want to make that with every dish, mm -hmm. like a steak. You could make it with the Irish stew. Okay, that's probably about the best mashed potatoes I've ever eaten in my life. That is awesome. Coming from you, David, I'll take it. Don't Thank you. Don't miss out on this. How many are gone now? 3,500 books are gone. We are so, so busy on the phone lines. QVC.com, mobile app is the way to go. This is your chicken salad, chicken real quickly. Sa rotisserie chicken salad, a big shortcut in the kitchen. Your rotis mom's chicken noodle soup? Chicken noodle soup when I was, you know, nothing when, under the weather. When you were a, a young boy in Ireland in County Tipperary, T yes? Tipperary, yes. Wonderful to have you here, Thank Chef. You so much. This is so exciting. This is not the last you're going to be seeing of this talented young man, and you'll be seeing him a lot on television, and you'll be reading more about this book. And if you're not yet on the line for the book, please get there. You don't want to miss out on this price. Shipping out on Tuesday, March 1st. Congratulations, Chef Thanks Stuart so O'Keefe. It's great to have Pleasure. you here. Thank you. So exciting. All right, so let's head over here. Uh, Mary, is it golden spatula time again? It is. Do I need it on this side of you? Oh, 